Yes 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 abakunzi ba crypto muri rusanye ndabasuje cyane abakunzi ba forex ndabasuje namwe kandi iyi ni digital wealth Rwanda um ndumva amakuru natanze kuri video yabanje hari abantu benshi yafashije kuko babonye riragereranya ryo kwezi kwa gatandatu no kwa karindwi kubyanye na Bitcoin baravuga bati rwose hano hano ni sawa reka dukomeze tuhiteho e, ni byo mu maro cyane e, kuzagira crypto munagura akabika kuko aho ngaho nta muntu numwe ubuzoherereje nta hano ubuzoherereje handi ha, ha hateye e, hatera ubwoba ku buryo uvuga kuti e, rwose bazazintwara reka reka biratandukanye ariko icyo navuga ku ma platform nanye ndi mu bantu bajyaga bagerageza kugira ma platform bashora mu nka yanga ya online umuntu akagira icyo ashyiramo kugira ngo agire icyo nguka hari ziba zigaragara ko zikora neza ariko maze kubona ko mu byukuri zite nyuma ziza guteza ibibazo bikomeye cyane urabona hari abantu bajye mu kintu bakaba consistent muri cyo kugira ngo bavuga umuntu avuga ati bya byose ari impinduka izabaho kandi nziza ariko kuri no nshuro ndarekuye nange eh kuri kuri inshuro ndarekuye eh bintu byanye na platform no gushoramo na hantu nizera neza ko ntazongera kuboneka abe na rimwe ya ya so iyi rero iyi ni bitcoin ku makuru ya crypto nko ku bantu amakuru mashyashya kandi meza mbafitiye nuko nko ku bantu bakunda crypto ibyo ibyo byose harimo mu baru tari mutoya eh wabantu barimo gukurikira muri America birimo kugenda bite eh kuko hari impamvu hari impamvu nyinshi nasobanuye muri video zabanje zigaragaza yuko amatora yo muri America afite uruhare rukomeye cyane kuri kuri kubijyanye n'imigendekere ya cryptocurrency mu byanye n'izamuka cyangwa se n'imanuka z'ubwo bwoko bw'amafaranga yikora na buhanga reka murebe hano ko byifashe kuko ya byose ku muntu kundi kigisata aya makuru nka yarayakurikira nanye ndi mu bayakurikira kuko ari très très intéressant eh nayi mu maro cyane mukurikire live from georgia a key battleground state in the race for the white house in just moments the current us president will debate the former us president as their party's presumptive nominees of first in american history we want to welcome our viewers in the United States and around the world to our studios in Atlanta. This is the CNN Presidential Debate. This debate is being produced by CNN and is coming to you live on CNN, CNN International, CNN.com, CNN Max, and CNN Espanol. This is a pivotal moment between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump in their rematch for the nation's highest office. Each will make his case to the American people with just over four months until Election Day. Good evening, I'm Dana Bash, anchor of CNN's Inside Politics and co-anchor of State of the Union. I'm Jake Tapper, anchor of CNN's The Lead and co-anchor of State of the Union. Dana and I will co-moderate this evening. Our job is to facilitate a debate between the two candidates tonight. Before we introduce them, we want to share the rules of the debate with the audience at home. Former President Trump will be on the left side of the screen. President Biden will be appearing on the right. A coin toss determines their positions. Each candidate will have two minutes to answer a question and one minute each for responses and rebuttals. An additional minute for follow-up clarification or response is at the moderator's discretion. When it's time for a candidate to speak, his microphone will be turned on and his opponent's microphone will be turned off. Should a candidate interrupt when his microphone is muted, it will be difficult to understand for viewers at home. At the end of the debate, each candidate will get two minutes for closing statements. There is no studio audience tonight. Pre-written notes, props, or determine their positions. Each candidate will have two minutes to answer a question and one minute each for responses and rebuttals. An additional minute for follow-up clarification or response is at the moderator's discretion. Mbujo kuri i debate mu yukuri chile. Kuko, hari video na wabge mu yuko haru muhanuzi njewe mhuri chila. Aba muhanuzi kubuja nini jambori jimana. Yavuze yuko, ama herezo Trump azatinda ya matura. 
yo muri Amerika kandi gutsinda kwa Trump bifite uruhare rukomeye ruri positive mu bijyanye na cryptocurrency muri rusange eh ubu bwoko bwa amafaranga kandi ngiyewe nabandi batandukanye harimo abantu bayafite urukundo rukomeye cyane ku buryo tubona yuko ne, tubona neza yuko Trump atowe umwaka utaha byazaba byiza cyane mu bintu bijyanye na Buran murebe ikintu baza bitwara bwo mura mugerageze no gukurikiramo uko biri tre tre zinteresa and it's time for a candidate to speak his microphone will be turned on and his opponent's microphone will be turned off should a candidate interrupt when his microphone is muted it will be difficult to understand for viewers at home at the end of the debate each candidate will get 2 minutes for closing statements there is no studio audience tonight Ahanga rero hano bagiye kubahamagara baze eh ariko mu bibazo bari bubabaze mu muraza kubibona urumva iyi manda bazaye umwe muri uzatorwa azaye buri imyaka ime arabona bari bubabaze bari bubabaze bijyanye n'ubuzima bwa buko buhagaze ubu ngubu niba koko bazaba uzatsinda azaba akiri umuntu ufite imbaraga n'ibitekerezo bizima ku buryo ashobora gukuba yabakiyo ya America muri iyo myaka ine yose hari nibindi bibazo bari bubabaze mu kurikiraho kuko bifite umumaro cyane muri iki gisata And please welcome the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Gentlemen, ahangu ko mubibona ni CNN yabatumiye. Eh urabona ko yatangiye ivuga amategeko bagomba agomba gukurikizwa naho umwe ari buturuke naho unda turuka eh ubwo rero wagiye gutangira kugira ibibazo babase Thanks so much for being here let's begin the debate and let's start with the issue that voters consistently say is their top concern the economy President Biden inflation has slowed but prices remain high since you took office the price of essentials has increased for example a basket of groceries that cost $100 then now costs more than $120 and typical home prices have jumped more than 30%. What do you say to voters who feel they are worse off under your presidency than they were under President Trump? I want to take a look at what I was left when I became president. <coughs> Mr. Trump left me. We had an economy that was in free fall. The pandemic was so badly handled. Many people were dying. All they said was, it's not that serious. Just injecting a bleach in your arm. You'll be all right. The economy collapsed. There were no jobs. Unemployment rate rose to 15%. It was terrible. And so what we had to do is try to put things back together again. And that's exactly what we began to do. We created 15,000 new jobs. <laughs> we brought out in the position where we have 800,000 new manufacturing jobs. But there's more to be done. There's more to be done. Working class people are still in trouble. I come from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I come from a household where the kitchen tables, the things weren't able to make during the month there was a problem. Price of gas, the price of gas, the price of housing, the price of a whole range of things. That's why I'm working so hard to make sure I deal with those problems. And we're going to make sure that we reduce the price of housing. We're going to make sure we build two, two million new units. We're going to make sure we cap rents so corporate grid can't take over. The combination of what is left with the corporate grid is the reason why we have this problem right now. In addition to that, we're in a situation where if you have to take a look at all that was done with his administration, he didn't do much at all. By the time he left, there were things that were in chaos. Things that were in chaos. And so we put things back together with Korea. I said those jobs, we make sure we have a situation where we now we brought down the price of prescription drugs, which is a major issue for many people. It took fifteen dollars for for uh an uh, insulin shot as opposed to four hundred dollars. No senior has to pay more than two hundred dollars for any job all the jobs they can come to get in next year. In a situation that's making we're gonna make that available to everybody, to all Americans. So we're working to bring down the price of around the kitchen table and that's what we're gonna get done. Thank you, President Trump. 
We have the greatest economy in the history of our country, and we have never done so well. Every, everybody was amazed by it. Other countries were copying us. We got hit with COVID, and when we did, we spent the money necessary so we wouldn't end up in a Great Depression, the likes of which we had in 1929. By the time we finished, so we did a great job. We got a lot of credit for the economy, a lot of credit for the military, and no wars, and so many other things. Everything was rocking good. But the thing we never got the credit for, and we should have, is getting us out of that COVID mess. Uh, he created mandates that was a disaster for our country. But other than that, we had we had given them back a a country where the stock market actually was higher than pre-COVID, and nobody thought that was even possible. Uh, the only jobs he created are for illegal immigrants and bounce back jobs, the bounce back from the COVID. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor job and inflation's killing our country. It is absolutely killing us. Thank you. President Biden? Well, look, the greatest economy in the world. Who, who's the one who thinks that, I think? I don't know anybody else who thinks that we're the greatest economy in the world. And, you know, the fact of the matter is that uh, we pride ourselves in a situation where his, his economy, he rewarded the wealthy. He had the largest tax cut in American history, $2 trillion. He raised a deficit larger than any president has in any one term. He's the only president of the Herbert Hoover who's had lost more jobs than he had when he began. Since Girango barimo gukurikira murabyumva nubwo ngo Biden ni warimo kuvuga yuko babarije impamvu mu byukuri ibiciro muri rusange eh ibiciro by'ibiribwa ndetse na service muri rusange ibiciro bikomeje kuzamuka muri America eh icyo ni ikibazo kibangamiye America ubwo rero Biden agerageza gusobanura ariko avuga yuko byinshi mu bibazo ari byo yasigiwe Eh, na Trump igihe <laughs> igihe yaravuyeho Biden na Busimbuye eh, agakomeza kugira ibyo asobanura nyira ngo murimo kugenda mukurikira ariko harakantu muze mukomeza mwitegereza iminwa ye mwumve neza kuno ibintu bimese or this safe country. The truth is, I'm the only president this century that doesn't have any, this, this decade, that have any troops dying anywhere in the world like he did. Uh, president Trump, uh, I want to follow up if I can. You want to respond to him? Well, I'm going to ask you a follow-up. You can do whatever you want with the minute that we give you. Um, I, I want to follow up. You, you want to impose a 10% tariff on all goods coming into the U.S. How will you ensure that that doesn't drive prices even higher? It's not going to drive them higher. It's just going to cause countries that have been ripping us off for years, like China and many others, in all fairness to China. It's going to just force them to pay us a lot of money, reduce our deficit tremendously, and give us a lot of power for other things. But he, he made a statement. The only thing he was right about is I gave you the largest tax cut in history. I also gave you the largest regulation cut in history. That's why we had all the jobs. And the jobs went down and then they bounced back and he's taking credit for bounce back jobs. You can't do that. He also said he inherited 9% inflation. Well, he inherited almost no inflation and it stayed that way for 14 months and then it blew up under his leadership because they spent money like a bunch of people that didn't know what they were doing and they don't know what they were doing. It was the worst, probably the worst administration in history. There's never been. And as far as Afghanistan is concerned, I was getting out of Afghanistan, but we were getting out with dignity, with strength, with power. He got out. It was the most embarrassing day in the history of our country's life. President Trump, over the last eight years, under both of your administrations, the national debt soared to record highs. And according to a new nonpartisan analysis, President Trump, your administration approved $8.4 trillion in new debt. Well, so far, President Biden, you've approved $4.3 trillion in new debt. So, former President Trump, many of the tax cuts that you signed into law are set to expire next year. You want to extend them and go even further, you say. With the U.S. facing trillion-dollar deficits and record debt, why should top earners and corporations pay even less in taxes than they do now? Because the tax cuts spurred the greatest economy that we've ever seen just prior to COVID. And even after COVID, it was so slow that we were able to get through COVID much better than just about any other country. But we spurred, that tax spurred. Now, when we cut the taxes, as an example, the uh, corporate tax was cut down to 21% from 39% plus beyond that. Uh, we took in more revenue with much less tax 
and companies were bringing back trillions of dollars back into our country. The country was going like never before. And we were ready to start paying down debt. We were ready to start using the liquid gold right under our feet, the oil and gas right under our feet. We were going to have something that nobody else has had. We got hit with COVID. We did a lot to fix it. I gave him an unbelievable situation with all of the therapeutics and all of the things that we came up with. We gave him something great. Remember, more people died under his administration, even though we had largely fixed it. More people died under his administration than our administration, and we were right in the middle of it, something which a lot of people don't like to talk about. But he had far more people dying in his administration. He did the mandate, which is a disaster, mandating it. The vaccine went out. He did a mandate on the vaccine, which is the thing that people most objected to about the vaccine. And he did a very poor job, just a very poor job. And I will tell you, not only poor there, but throughout the entire world, we're no longer respected as a country. They don't respect our leadership. They don't respect the United States anymore. We're like a third world nation between weaponization of his election, trying to go after his political opponent, all of the things he's done, we've become like a third world nation. And it's a shame. The damage he's done to our country, and I'd love to ask him and will why he allowed millions of people to come in here from prisons, jails, and mental institutions to come into our country and destroy our country. President Trump, we will get to immigration uh, later in this block. President Biden, uh, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to this question about the national debt. He had the largest national debt of any president for your period in the world. Number two, you've got two trillion dollar tax cut benefit of the very wealthy. We have what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America, I mean billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation. Mukurichira hano ha. Mukurichira hano ha. Eh, umva. Uko vya agenda kuse, aricho muri bubone, mukurichira magambo Trump ajie kufuka. Eh, mngangare mukurichira gato rugose. We will get to immigration uh, later in this block. President Biden, uh, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to this question about the national debt. He had the largest national debt of any president for your period in the world. Number two, you've got two trillion dollar tax cut benefit of the very wealthy. What we have what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America, I mean billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2% in taxes. If they just paid 24%, 25%, either one of those numbers, it may be $500 million, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We would be able to not wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to secure strength. <laughs> Iminyenda yobura Amerika, wanya Amerika wafite, nyenda Amerika wafite shobore kugawanduka, walavuga yuko ba azashira imisoro kuwa bilionia bari mura Amerika. E, kani ngoni bench, bilionia za bari mura Amerika. Kuburiju musoro, wawako wawuru li hagati, wa, ya bari makunya na gata anukuja na chango semi nungatu na gata anukuja na umge muri yomi bari. E, Kujirango, iminyenda shobore kuhishiruka. Mukomeza mkuri chile mnumvi in our healthcare system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what we've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, well, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? I'm <laughs> Murebyo kuna riyimi ni wano hanu murebyo kuna vijit kwa emu. Na gobi yoroshi. Uyumu papa mwigara gara ashobara kuba. Uriyo mwe changu buundi nawe afita kabazo ka asante. Kajanyi nubuzimu. Kuburijo abanya Amerika wa proje sengu mwumnyaka ini li imbele. Ashobara kubona ko ataza ajezeo ajifiti mbaraga. Kandi nyuma hii video. Niye waja kurevizindi comments abanu bashi ze kuri idibeti ya bae. Baragaragaza neza ko uko byagenda kose Biden aragaragara nk'umuntu umwe ufite integenye eh ufite integenye ku buryo iminyaka iniri imbere bishobora ku tamworohera in case byaba byamubera byiza anatowe Was ready to beat Medicare beat it to death and is destroying Medicare 
because all of these people are coming in. They're putting them on Medicare. They're putting them on Social Security. They're going to destroy Social Security. This man is going to single-handedly destroy Social Security. These millions and millions of people coming in, they're trying to put them on Social Security. He will wipe out Social Security. He will wipe out Medicare. So he was right in the way he finished that sentence. And it's a shame. What's happened to our country in the last four years is not to be believed. Foreign countries, I'm friends with a lot of people, they cannot believe what happened to the United States of America. We no longer respect it. They, they don't like us. We give them everything they want and they, they think we're stupid. They think we're very stupid people. What we're doing for other countries and they do nothing for us. What this man has done is absolutely criminal. <laughs> Kira ngomwe abyumvishe na Trump na ibyo yongeyeho gusa iki igihari ira iria ira debate yabaye eh ubangwa shize minsi mikeya debate ibayeho ariko uko byagenda kose eh Trump naramukatowe bizaba ari byiza kurusha naramukatowe bizaba ari byiza kurusha aho rwose ya ubwo rero nagira ngo mbabwireho tuvuye kuri ibingi bibi bikaragaciyemo kandi byari by'umumaro cyane nagira ngo mbabwire hari umu mu bijyanye na forex trading hari umu broker mwiza cyane nifuza yuko abantu ba mwakoresha hanyuma ukeneye link kugira ngo akoreshe no mu broker kuko forex trading no mwuga wemeye hano mu gihugu na kazi donc kemewe mu buryo bwemewe rwose bweruye umuntu yemerewe gukora aho yaba ari hose ufete numwuga wizewe eh kandi wemewe no mugiye gucyacu so uh no kuvuga ngo uyu ni umubroka urabizi ko ababroka nabo muri rusange bafite uruhare rukomeye igihe umuntu arimo gukora kano kano kazi ka forex trading ababroka bafite mu ruhare rukomeye cyane kuko umubroka ashobora gukora cyo bita manipulation isoko ibyo ngibyo umuntu akaba yabihombera mu broker ashaka gusanga afite spread nini ibyo ngibyo bikaba byagira uruhare mu musaruro wabona mu isoko kumenya amafaranga amacyo abikurika biba ari ngombwa cyane igihe wayungutse se amacyo abikurika nanga ese amacyo ushobora gutangiza nanga ibyo byose ni ibintu by'umumaro so uyu mu broker rero ndimo kubereka hano urabona ko afite konti ziri ubwoko butano bwa bune hari micro account hari standard account hari XM ultra low account hakaba shares account eh nkuko mubibona rero base currency options eh base currency eh nubwo ngo bitewe na konte wahita miliyariyo hano hari na amadorari ama euro ama pound ama yapani ama swisi ama nya australia na ya mafaranga ya ndatandukanye ariko tudakunze gucuruza cyane kubera yuko liquidity cyangwa se amafaranga bacamo abari make mu byukuri iyi ni micro account bakavuga yuko kuri contract size eh, one lot eh, ni igihumbi hanyuma leverage bashobora kuba leverage izamuka kugera ku eh, kuri rimwe ku gihumbi eh, hanyuma eh, negative balance protection yego iri irimo iri <coughs> donc eh, irahari kuri iyi konti hanyuma spread on all majors Uh, spreading anichi as low as one pip mm? ubwo ngo bigera kuri pip commissions iyi konti nta commissions zigira ngo ngo ibiraha ngaha ubijyanye no urebye no kuri standard account naho eh, wabona ko mu byukuri byenda gususibye ko kuri standard kuri contract size eh, niho harimo ikinyuranyo eh, kuri contract size niho harimo ikinyuranyo na leverage birasa hanyuma Uh, tugiye kuri spread on all majors ubwo ni major pairs baba tubwira naho hazamo spread uh, spread ni iki spread ni no mwanya uri hagati uh, ya selling price na buying price eh ubwo ni wa mwanya uri hagati ya bid bid and ask ya no vuga ngo indi konte commission zinazo ntazo kuri konte ya standard urumva na ubwoko butandukanye ariko umuntu aruhitamo ngiye namugira inama yo guhitamo XM Electro Row account niyo nziza kubera yuko mu bigaragara usomenye neza usanga byiburaho spread yaho iragabanuka cyane ikagera kuri 0 n'ibice bitandatu aho kuba aho kuba pipu imwe yose eh ini konte nziza so tumanutse hepfo 
tumanutse hepfo reka ndebe types of accounts tumanutse hepfo hano baratwereka yuko kuri yi ultra low standard account mu byo kuri minimum wa deposit aho na madola 5 tujyo ko nizindi zibanza mu cyari ushobora gushyira ara 5 hanyuma uyu mu broker ari kiza cyane cyane nuko ushobora ku deposit ukoresheje mobile money ego ushobora ku deposit ukoresheje ama crypto cyane cyane stable coin nka USDT urumva ko ari sawa abakunda momo nabo ni sawa iraha irahari so ubwo rero wareba icyo nababwira nuko wareba link wareba link muri muri hasi muri description cyangwa se no muri comments ukayikandaho ukiyandikisha none aho wagira kabazo ukaba wanyandikira kuri WhatsApp no kugaidinga uburyo ufunguza konte na kandi kabazo kose wazagira ye wa warafunguje konte unyuza aho ngaho eh naza naza kugaidinga eh kwera yuko nibu ushobora ku depositing ukoresheje mobile money ugacuruza hanyuma ukanabikuza yabaza kuri momo iyo bintu ntako byaba bisa ubwo ni muri forex muri forex trading ibyo umwe hari ko nimo kuvuga uyu mu broker ni mwiza rwose bifatika ikindi kimuranga kiruta abandi eh bose utanabona kuri utanabona kuri ubundi imbere twa nge nakoreshaga eh GTCFX GTCFX eh ariko muri no minsi nabo urumva amaki yabikurika barayazamuye bayageza ku madorari 50 niyo minimum withdraw urumva ni ikibazo kuko era yuko hari umuntu ushaka kwibikuriza madorari 2030 15 se 14 urumva limitation bashize urebye ntabwo ari nziza eh mu gihanga amaki yabikurika ara madorari 5 ikindi kuri uyu mubroka nta nta manipulation akora mu isoko nta manipulation izamo ubwurumva rero ni mu broker mwiza mba ITM murebe link muri comments ndetse no muri cyangwa se no muri description ni muri hasanga mu kandeho mwiyandikishe ubwo kubakunzi ba forex trading urumva kare sawa cyane so ibuka gukanda kuri like na subscribe rero kugira ngo makuru meza digital wealth Rwanda age akugeraho kugihe asante sana